Hi everyone, so I just wanted to briefly talk to you about upgrading the glass bed on your Creality Ender 3 Pro. As you can see, this is my printer here with the new um, Creality glass bed. Um, I think one of the things that you need to be aware of is that when you're upgrading your glass bed, it's probably a good idea to upgrade the springs as well. Um, you'll see on the forums they make reference to the yellow springs. These are the yellow springs, except in a different color. Um, the great thing about these springs is, is that they are quite strong, so you won't see them deforming too quickly. So while you're changing the glass bed, I think um, it's worthwhile changing these as well. The next thing that you need to do, and something that I've done incorrectly, is um, when you're putting the glass bed onto the, on, onto the heated surface, there's actually a layer of, um, I don't know what you want to call it, glue or some sort of um, film on there, which is used to hold down and magnetize the surface for the flexible magnetic bed that comes supplied with the Ender 3 Pro. You actually need to heat up the, the heated surface um, and scrape off that glue before you put down um, the glass bed. I made the mistake of leaving that on and now my glass bed is actually stuck onto this heated element uh, that you can see below. Um, I think there are ways for me to remove it. I probably have to heat it up again and then um, poke something in there and separate the two and then scrape it off. But to be honest, you can see my prints, they're coming out fine. Um, they're well stuck to the build plate um, and uh, everything seems to be fine for the time being. Um, but bear that in mind, um, one other problem you might encounter is that um, PLA might not stick too well onto the build surface. Uh, and people will talk about using glue or hairspray or some other adhesive. Some people even talk about putting painter's tape on the build surface in order to um, give it something to grab onto. What I found was if you use um, alcohol and you spray that on um, and then wipe it down with a uh, microfiber cloth or even a kitchen towel, that often is good enough for you to um, get really good um, really good contact with the plate and uh, have some really solid, nice prints come out. So just to show you very quickly, I had this lying around, 99%. Um, people have used 70%, some people have diluted their um, alcohol. I just hit it with 99%. Uh, I spray maybe, you know, one, two, three, four, five. I let it sit there for 15 to 20 seconds and then I wipe it down. When you start doing this initially, you might notice some yellow substance on your cloth or on your tissue, which uh, goes away after a little while, after a few times. But it's now my default practice to do that every time I print anything. So, you know what? I think after you've taken all those steps, you have some really great prints come out. Do give it a try. It does work. Uh, and just be mindful when you're upgrading to the glass bed on the Ender 3 Pro. I hope that helps. Take care. Bye-bye.